Yes, Mr. Uh, Boot. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I, I, I differ with you on the definition for neocon. And you're an obvious example of a prime neocon, but my definition is from the Latin. It comes from new, neo, but it also means non-compass mentis. And I think you, you uh, illustrate that in your use of terms like uh, evil, wicked, sinful, vile, et cetera, et cetera. This type of mentality that you're promoting is what's killing our boys now, every day, and has turned the entire world against us. And I think I suggest that you and Mr. Pearl and the rest of the so-called neocons are going to very much regret your stance and the promotion of the Carlisle Group and the request for control of the world's oil. Thank you very much. Well, I think the color reflects some of the wilder conspiracy theories about neocons. I mean, in fact, I wish I did control the world's oil. I would probably have a bigger bank balance than I actually do um, to address this semi-substantive point about how the use of the word evil and wicked and so forth is turning the whole world against us and is a recipe for disaster, et cetera, et cetera. I would actually argue the opposite, that the failure to recognize that evil exists in the world and that it has to be stopped before it comes back to haunt us is in fact the root of many of our current problems. It is the root of our failure to deal with al-Qaeda in the 1990s where we dismissed one terrorist bombing after another as a pinprick strike that was not worthy of a serious response from the United States because we failed to recognize the evil that was out there and the great forces that were mobilizing against us. And we paid a very high price on 9-11 of 2001 for that failure to recognize that evil exists in the world and it is coming to get us. I hope that we will wake up to the greater evils that that continue to exist in the world, including from al-Qaeda, but also from regimes like North Korea uh, that continue to threaten us. And, and frankly, I, people object to the use of the word evil for some reason, but it's hard for me to find a more accurate description of a regime like the one in Pyongyang, which has literally starved millions of its people, has put hundreds of thousands of people in slave labor camps. If that's not evil, what is? If there is any regime in the world today that resembles the Nazi regime, it has to be the one in North Korea. And if you can't call them evil, then I don't know what would qualify for that label. Returning.